incorporate Twitter a lot onto our show. We have um, on our screen at all times, either Twitter or Facebook. Um, for the, our premiere, we had a work with Get Glue actually at, on a Get Glue uh, sticker for, for the premiere. And that's continued on. You know, Facebook, we're looking to expand into to other areas as well. I mean, the main lesson I, I've learned, I think, is that CNN itself, it has a great system in place already. I mean, we have at CNN with you know, millions of followers, the CNN Facebook page. And by kind of uh, coordinating that in a, in a very real way, we're able to see what still ultimately matters, and that's ratings. I mean, you know, it's great to have a great conversation on you know, the social side of things. It's great to, uh, to get a lot of Twitter followers or Facebook fans. But if that doesn't translate to, to viewers, ultimately, in, in the Nielsen ratings, then it doesn't really matter. Facebook, the, their uh, director of media partnerships came out with some pretty stunning statistics. Um, Roughly 1.65 billion shows. There have been likes that hit click the like button on TV shows. So you look at things like Facebook, um, this data streaming, which is becoming sort of the, the new electronic programming guide, the new TV guide. When I was in this, I think things can happen on Twitter in terms of news, dialogue between reporters and the rest of the reporters out there on Twitter, all of you guys who are out there creating all of this data and all this news that Jeff was talking about. Um, but I think, yeah, ultimately the, the sweet spot is where you're going to be converting, you know, people clicking on uh, the like button on Facebook and then getting to know your show. And it may be a, a breakout moment like a Charlie Sheen, but over time it's going to happen more organically, I think. And uh, right now I think we're trying to keep the linear audiences alive ones who, who sort of don't, they aren't on Facebook, and they're probably going to age out, for lack of a better description, the, the sweet spots where you're going to get people from Facebook to the TV set with, you know, Facebook or Get Blue or whatever the, the platform may be. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's just kind of a quick introduction to what Get Blue is, the, the like very quick explanation is that we are like Foursquare, but for entertainment. So people are checking into TV shows, movies, books, music, whatever they're doing at that moment. And it's not limited by where you are. So if I'm watching Here's Morgan here, and my mother is watching it in Ohio, and somebody else is watching it in Idaho, what's important for us is the location. It's that we're all experiencing more because we reward people with stickers, which seems like this sort of kitschy thing, but it's actually been incredibly successful and adults love the nostalgia of it and it actually like you can identify who you are as a person by your stickers, kind of, by what you like. And we've been most successful with driving the live to me because not only do people post their check-ins to get glue, but you can also post on Facebook and Twitter. So it's like this mad rush and you see that like I'm checked in at 8 p.m. on a Tuesday with 20, 30 of my friends to complete. That sense of community, but they're actually you know, engaging in the way that, that networks want you to, that, that are, give very real results. I mean, um, you know, the early days of CNN and Twitter, I think, they, you know, a few years ago, and they, they were kind of early on in adapting it, uh, you know, it was this person on Twitter says this and has this comment, and that's nice, you know, but it's, it's a lot different to, to have a sense of, you know, here's what the general consensus is right now, here's what people are saying. And, and to kind of drive that conversation and get very real results from, from what the general audience is saying. Yeah. News Team 11D72, news you can count on and things like that. And people, if, if they're really your neighbors, you talk to your neighbors, right? We listen to each other, we have conversations. And I, th I think that's genuine and that really takes place um, in terms of creating awareness. And in terms of creating awareness, what you're talking about is marketing. And that's some journalist with a capital J. They don't, they don't like the notion that they need to sort of grasp the notion that all of us who work in this field, when we shake hands with people and say, hi, I'm Jim, I work for NBC News, that's marketing, right? When I'm on Twitter talking about what I'm doing throughout my day, that's, that's marketing. And I think everybody needs to grasp that. And the, in terms of marketing on the web, it, it's relationships and conversation and that's how you build trust and awareness. Yeah, I mean